What's up guys, Chris Douglas here with Alofin124, and I got my friend here, Christian Dasky, with Revolutionary Wellness, and today we are going to be covering sacral chakra oil, essential oils, for you as a resource, and Kristen is very knowledgeable about essential oils, which is why she's doing these videos with me, and if you guys haven't already, check out all the other chakra essential oil videos to figure out how to emotionally balance your life with these amazing oils. Is that well said? Well said. All right. Let's, so if you guys haven't seen the other videos, we select three essential oils from Young Living that we think are best for your chakras. And then we tell you how to use them, how they can be applied, and how to get the most benefit, and also what they are benefiting in case you guys haven't read all the information for the chakras. So Kristen, which ones did we choose this time? We have Peace and Calming, which is a blend, and we have Clary Sage. And patchouli. And which one is your favorite of these three? Oh my goodness. Well, it depends on what I'm using it for, but I will talk about, goodness. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can hit these because they also, besides the physical, I mean, we got the spiritual and the emotional elements sure. that we're working towards. Balancing. Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. So peace and calming, you know, if we think about the sacral this is one of chakra. one actually. Because sacral to me is a lot of creativity. I mean, that's where creativity happens, yeah. whether you talk like sexually or creatively, like I got this idea, you know, Pisces, Sagittarius are very creative signs. Those are our chakras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then on the other hand, I mean, there could be some repressed trauma that people have experienced and that's affected their sacral chakra as well. So sure. peace and calming can balance, you know, what, whichever part of the spectrum that you're on, if there's a lot or there might be excess energy too, mm -hmm. you know, this helps to balance that out yeah and peace and calming i'd always burn this is actually this is in the starter kit correct and you're learning starter kit so this is um one of the starter kits this was actually one of my favorite this and stress away are very good for also working as you'll see in these videos i essential oils has helped me a ton with you know focusing concentrating getting work done because as a as a pisces i'm kind of all over the place sometimes i like to swim as a gym and i i mean you're all over the place too sometimes yeah, right you I'm like multitasking to do, constantly. yeah so i mean is this one very helpful for your workflow as well it does i actually had this diffusing the other day um while it was raining and i was i was just in need of yeah like, getting in that flow zone day. right well flow zone but actually that day was self-care i was good. just needing to unplug it's good though your sacral is about self-care too yeah, it's also yeah. like you know step back and relax so yeah. peace and calming any tricks to applying this one i mean there's so many ways that you can apply peace right. and calming of course but like the other ones diffusing it besides that applying it to the bottoms of your feet you can add it to your favorite lotion um, well, i like that idea and applying it or even just some coconut oil that you might have yeah. in your Cabinet. Coconut oil or any kind of oil you can use as a carrier oil for yeah. these, correct? Yes, as long as it's not like petroleum based. Yeah. You don't want to use that, but like uh, avocado oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, carrier oils like that. Those are like the fatty oils. Yeah, so those fatty are different oil. than the essential oils themselves um, to spread over a larger surface of the body. I love that. And I never even thought about that with lotions and stuff because I always mm -hmm. put mine in. Um, well, I really just use a diffuser a lot on my workspace, and then I will I'll apply them to my wrists and rub them so that through the day, if I get stressed, I tend to pull one of these, and then I'll be like, oh, man, that is actually pretty chill right yeah. there. So, I mean, there's, a, there's even a good tip and trick there. Yeah. All right. I haven't played with either one of these two yet. Ah. So, now now this is 100% your show. Like what all are, me. Yeah, yeah. Which well, one? I'm going to actually use my one of my favorite books, too, because oh, this can get... There's just so many different qualities to the essential oils. And so you might as well just learn it right from the book. Awesome. Um, and if you can't afford the book, use us as a resource. Yeah, I mean, we've got it. We've got it. I know. That's what we're for. And what is, let's see, patchouli. I can't even say this one right. Patchouli. Patchouli. So this one, as a fragrant influence, it's a relaxant that helps to clarify thoughts and allowing discarding of any kind of jealousies obsessions and insecurities very cool so i can see so ego you know, this that, one's kind of helps dissolve your ego a little bit yeah very nice and any kind of you know imbalances and insecurities too which partners up with valor well too from the root chakra very nice and you guys will see that too i didn't mention that in these videos you will see these oils that resonate with different chakras because they aren't just made for specifically one as you guys will see too the the sacral and the third eye tend to be very well connected as i mentioned earlier with creation and perception if you can't perceive it how can you create it mm -hmm. 
Um, just, just a little like tidbit there, so you guys aren't like, what are they talking about? They said it for this. They, 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 they resonate with multiple chakras. Is the key here. And aside from the chakras, I mean, there's they are so versatile for, for our bodies. I mean, mm-hmm. there's so many different uses of the essential oils. One essential oil can be used for many different things. So, just the creativity, the I, the idea of being able to experience essential oils on so many different levels, like the sky yeah. is literally the limit on what sure. you can do with them. So. And then clary sage. What can you tell me about clary sage? I love personally burning sage. Sage is so good for just in my workspace for when I do get creative. It actually does help me focus a lot as well. Yeah. So clary sage is a little bit different, different species. So this, like the flower here is actually what it looks like. But this oil, this plant is found in one of my favorite blends called Dragon Time. Okay. Tell me more. And why do you like it so much? Why Dragon Time? Well, ladies, if you have... Oh, I remember this one. Yes. During the time of the month, that's what Dragon Time is for, is helping you work through that week. That's good. And it's crazy you mention that, too, because the sacral chakra is actually more in the feminine chakra, because the root, a lot of sources is mixed. The root will say, like, it's very masculine and only males have the root. Both have it, it's more physical on the male, and then the sacral is more present in the females with the ovaries being higher. Hmm. So I always think a sacral too is more of like your feminine features because remember, none of us would be here without our mothers. We all came from a feminine being, which is also like a good like, um, what is that, association with the uh, sacral chakra is always think of it as your feminine you know, connection. It's all about relationship, intimacy, creation, just like, everything revolving around that and you can't have that without mothers and feminine bodies so mm, that's really cool and then the fragrance influence fragrant influence of clary sage is to help de-stress and for calming too so which you can also go out into mother nature see mother i'm, I'm gonna reciprocate this and mother nature is very calming our mothers are very calming so just to add to that yep. whole feminine feature so um, any other tips, tricks, or anything with oh these three? Well, clary sage, you can apply. That one would be one that I could apply topically to my okay. abdomen. I mean, to guys, the side, to the side that's really hurting, right? Yeah, but okay. guys, you can use it too. Like I said, it's calming and de-stressing. So After if it appeals to you, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, just inhaling it in as well can Perfect. help to impact you as well. And then all these you can apply to the bottom of your feet as well. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, I think that's it for the sacral chakra video. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out all the other chakra videos for essential oils with Kristen. And as mentioned, all these come from a, what Young Living Essential Oils. And you can find all this information through, I'm going to guess on AOFIN, but also at Revolutionary Wellness. And be sure to follow Kristen's pages of her personal and Revolutionary Wellness on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and any other social media sources in which they might be present. Revolutionarywellness.com. Yeah, and revolutionarywellness.com. I, that's, I think I would just drive everybody to there because it just goes up. Cool. Well, everybody, be sure to check out Christian's stuff at revolutionarywellness.com and catch the next chakra and essential oil videos. Thank you so much and have a great day.